When I bought my first sport bike, it was common knowledge that if you're a car guy, you never race a motorcycle. And the reason for that was because cars had a distinct weight disadvantage. In other words, the power to weight of a motorcycle was much better than the power to weight of a car. But now with the advent of electric cars, the question that I'm asking myself is, has that changed? In other words, back when I had my first Suzuki Katana, and I was leaving the toll plaza, I absolutely demolished a Ferrari. But with electric cars, they're all about torque and they're all about quickly accelerating. So today we're gonna to find out because we've got the cheapest electric car you could buy, the Mini SC. And Alex, what have you brought? I brought my 2019 Yamaha MT-09 and the MT in that name stands for the master of torque. So I think I've got a pretty good chance in this race. So we're gonna find out in this next series of videos whether electric cars can actually demolish a motorcycle in a quarter mile drag race. All right, so let me walk you through my MT-09 right here. Basically bone stock, not tuned or anything. It does have an Akrapovich titanium exhaust on it, but those are the only performance mods. Suspension, bone stock, although I have adjusted it to make it a little bit stiffer than the factory. Tires, not giving me the best advantage here. These are rain tires, but I think that is just fine because if you look at the tires on the Mini, it's kind of an even match. Up. Uh, and then I have some accessories on here. So Woodcraft sliders on rear and front axles, GB Racing engine covers uh, on all four pieces, Rizoma turn signals, uh, CRG levers, heated grips, little windscreen, and last but not least, I got rid of the hideous rear bumper they put on these bikes. So there it is. This Mini SE is the cheapest electric car you can buy in America. Now, when we bought it a year ago, it had a starting price of just over $30,000. But when you take into account the fact that you also get a 7,500 federal tax credit and a 2,500 Colorado tax credit, this is a $20,000 electric car. There is one downside and that is it has only about 114 miles of range, which I suspect is about the same as Alex's bike. Powering this MT-09 is an 847cc inline three-cylinder engine from Yamaha. It's not the newest 890cc engine that you find in the new bikes. This is a 2019, but even still, this motor makes around 114 horsepower and about 64 foot-pounds of torque, and it only weighs about 425 pounds. So power to weight ratio, spot on. Under the hood of the Mini is an electric motor. Yeah, no frunk and uh, only a place to put your windshield wiper fluid, really. It puts out 181 horsepower and just under 200 pound foot of torque. Now the downside is it's front wheel drive, not all wheel drive, and of course it's very heavy. But the upside is electric motors have instant torque and even with my all weather tires, I bet you off the line, I'm gonna beat Alex. So the thing about this Mini is it wasn't built as an electric car. In fact, BMW took the drivetrain out of the i3 and then transplanted it into this Mini. And sometimes great cars are born and designed and sometimes they're just kind of happen by happenstance. And this is one of those cases. I think the Mini didn't necessarily mean to get this exactly right, but they did. And that's all because of the electric motor. Now it's not one of the uh, fastest uh, cars that you can buy as an electric car, but I think it's certainly one of the most fun. All right, I've got it in sport mode. Let's do this. off the line he's gone come on mini Roman thought he had a chance in this race, but deep down before we launched, I knew I was gonna smoke him right off the line. And as you can see, I did have the Solo 2 mounted to my dashboard to get a quarter mile time and a top speed, but it cut out right as I crossed the finish line. So we'll try it again on the next race. Uh, I can't reach uh, the Solo DL. So 15.84 at 92 miles an hour. Alex. Dude, you, you, you killed that. I smoked you. You smoked me. I was, I, I mean, you were halfway down before I even got going. Yeah. Um, you, you had a good launch, sir. Yeah, the launch is fine. It's just, you're so much better. Yeah. I know. Uh, hold on, well, let's talk about this. Okay. 
So, electric car zero, motorcycle one. Nothing else to be said. I mean, you know, there isn't much I can do to make this slower or faster. That's the thing about electric cars. They're just computers with electric motors. And I floor it and it goes or it doesn't. And in this case, it didn't, at least not quick enough to defeat the mighty Yamaha. So I think I'll, we'll do one more race and okay. I'll give you a, an actual chance this time. Instead of having Case start the race, I'll just let you go and as soon as you go, I'll go. All right, I'll take that. Let's do it. Let's face it. The only way I'm going to win this race is by cheating a little bit <laughs> or a lot. So I'm going to uh, just, uh, you know, slowly creep up here. Just get a little bit of a lead so he doesn't see what I'm doing. Right, here we go. I figured, yeah, you're a neutral. All right, let's try again. All right, here we go. Once again, I'm gonna just creep up, just the gentlest, just creep up a little bit, just to get ahead of him a little bit. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's a little more even down there. He goes. I had to creep up all the way to halfway down the track to win that. Come on, Minnie, go. The scary part is that uh, I've used about 7% of my range just going down the track twice. <laughs> I started at 66% of battery, now I'm at 59% uh, and with only 114 miles of range, I gotta make sure I can get back to the, uh, well, make that 58%. I sense the beginning of a video series here. Let's face it, electric cars are quick. Fast is top end speed, quick is acceleration, and electric cars are quick. It's just that I'm in the wrong electric car, so I think we're going to have to make this into a series and try to find an electric car that actually can defeat that motorcycle. I sense a series here. All right, Alex, uh, electric car zero, bike one. Yeah, that was uh, not a super even matchup. No, no, no. So. Um, the Mini went about 15.85 at 92 miles an hour. What about the bike? This did 11.95 at 120. Oh, you broke 12. <laughs> so I think we got ourselves a series here. I think so too. So we I just think, need some faster cars. Yeah, I think next time I'm gonna surprise you and bring something that's maybe a little bit quicker. Uh, so to be continued, as always, this is Roman. And Alex. Saying thanks for watching. And remember, check out alltfl.com for drag racing, build series, and of course, our newest series, Go Big. See you guys next time, ciao.